Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different verification points that are available in Selenium? If I have to answer this question, guys, I will not only answer the different verification points for Selenium web driver, but also I'll answer the different verification points for Selenium ID also. Because if I talk about Selenium, these are the components of Selenium which have the verification points. So starting with the Selenium ID, what are the different verification points? All the verify and assert commands in Selenium ID fall into this different verification points category. Let me show you guys. Uh, let me open the browser and uh, okay. Here I already installed Selenium ID. Just click on this. Now in the displayed list, uh, you can select this create a new project. Give any project name, say XYZ and say okay. And you can see the interface of Selenium ID now. Select this row and now type something like this, assert, okay? When you type assert text in, into this command text field, it will list down all the list of assert commands that are there in Selenium ID. Okay, all each and every command that is displayed here, guys. Assert, assert title, assert text, okay? Assert checked, all these commands fall into the verification points category only, okay? These are the commands which fall into the verification points. This is how in Selenium ID, we verify the things, right? Similar to assert commands, there are a set of verify commands also, okay? Using the verify commands also, we can verify the different things using Selenium ID. All this list of commands, verify title, verify text, verify value, verify not text, all these commands, each and every command listed down here, okay, are shown here, will fall into this verification points category of the Selenium ID. Similar to Selenium ID, Selenium WebDriver also has a list of commands which can be used to verify the things, okay? During automation, if you use these commands, we generally use them for verifying the things. So starting with the first command that is is displayed, okay? First command is displayed, then we have is enabled. Is displayed is used for checking whether the uh, element is displayed on the page or not. Is enabled is uh, used in Selenium WebDriver automation code to check whether the given web element is in enabled state or not is selected to see whether the checkbox option or radio button is in selected mode or not size command okay i'll show you guys how you can use size for verification purposes just to check whether element is present or not we can use this size command i will practically show you how to use size command for checking whether the element is present or not then get title it will retrieve the title of the current page and we can verify whether we are getting a proper title of the page or not okay proper title of the page is displayed on the page or not get current url so it will retrieve the URL of the page, okay, at uh, when this particular command is triggered. So we can check whether uh, the particular page has a proper URL or not using this, uh, this kind of verifications we can do guys, okay. Each and every command has a type of verification that can be done. Get page source, it will retrieve all the HTML code of the page we are at and using that also we can do the verification thing. Now let me practically show you each and every command for you guys. So. Here is some sample automation code in uh, this Eclipse IDE editor, Selenium in Selenium Java, guys. So this particular application is taking us to this login page, right? When you run this code, it will take you to the login page like this. Once you go to the login page, let's say, let's apply the first command, guys, of Selenium WebDriver for verification purpose, that is is displayed. So I want to check whether this particular login button is displayed on the page or not. How to do that? So right click inspect. Uh, when I inspect this is HTML code, guys, say control F. Then here, I'll say, I'll copy this login, guys. I'll create an XPath for this element, double slash input at the rate, value is equal to login, okay? This is the value I copied. You see one element is located. So copy this, copy this and uh, create a, something like create a statement like driver dot find element by dot XPath. I'm locating that uh, login button, guys. I'm checking whether this particular button is displayed or not. Using this is displayed, okay? This is displayed will return true or false, okay? So if I print it out, system.out.println, and if I put this statement inside this println statement, we'll get the uh, true or false in the output. Since this particular button is now available or displayed here, right? So we'll get true in the output. So I'll quit the browser, guys, so that we can see it will be very fast. When I create the browser though. So run this. In the output, we should get true, right? Is displayed, we'll check whether the given web element that is a login button in this case is displayed on the page or not. You see true is printed. Similarly, 
instead of is displayed we can use another command what is that is enabled to check whether this login button is in enabled state or not is login button enabled state or disabled state if you can click on this that means it is an enabled state right so login button is in enabled state so i'll change this to from is displayed to is enabled this will also return true or false in our case in this example also it will return true because the login button is in enabled state let's run this so again you will get the same output that is true because is enabled will check whether the button is in or any web element is given web element is in enabled state or not so it's still loading let's wait uh, for this to close okay this application should load guys then only it can check let me refresh you see true okay true done then next one is is selected okay is selected uh, we can use with the checkbox options to see whether those options are in selected state or not to see whether they are in selected state or not i will go to another page guys for this purpose register page where we have a checkbox option here privacy policy checkbox option so let's see what will happen okay i'll update the url here to the register page so that we can directly go to the register page and here i will say i will uh, inspect this checkbox field inspect this so type is equal to checkbox is there name is equal to agree is there let's see what we can do double slash input at the rate type is equal to this one let's see uh, how many only one is coming that's fine i'll copy this and i'll use this xpath instead of the previous ones okay now i'll say is selected is this particular checkbox selected guys by default no right it's not selected we should get uh, something as false in the output right in the output it should print false let's see that will happen or not run this these are all the verifications that we are doing guys using all these commands of selenium web driver we are verifying the stuff right you see false because the checkbox option is not in selected state like that guys similarly we have size okay size command we can use it for use for checking whether the element is present on the page or not okay it the element may be displayed may not be displayed but in the html code also if the element is there then it will be treated as present okay so what we can do here is uh, i'll go with the same login again i'll create the xpath again so this was the xpath we created right double slash input at the rate value is equal to login done copy this so okay i'll copy this and put that into the code now i'll change the url also this is login page url instead of this register page url we can use the login page url and here i will say instead of this uh, system.out.println i will say dot here find elements i will say okay driver dot find elements now to this uh, output i will say dot size okay dot size this size command can be used to check or verify whether this element is present in the page or not easy is if it is not equal to 0 okay if this element this find elements has this size command guys and uh, if the size command returns okay returns like uh, returns the element count if this particular element is available how many times this login button is there one time so the size will retrieve one one not equal to zero true right so here i have to put this particular thing inside the if condition if is not equal to zero okay like this we can write the code guys then i can say system dot out dot print ln okay element is present that is button is present on the page otherwise we can print it out saying system dot out dot print ln button or element is not present on the page not present on the page like this now save this and run this you should get element is present on the page guys okay so this is one way of checking whether the element is present on the page or not element is present on the page because this size command when used with this find elements and this xpath right it will return one one not equal to zero is true so element is present on the page will be printed so hope guys you got to know how to use size for checking whether the element is present on the page or not there is no direct command in selenium web driver okay like is present kind of command is not there so we have to use size command to get this done now get title get title is for retrieving the title of the page guys okay when you are in login page let's say when you are in login page the title is account login right so driver dot get title what it does is uh, it will retrieve the title of the page so i can verify something like this the title of the page should be 
equal to what guys account login then that's fine okay account login if it is equal to account login or not so i can print it out okay it should return it should return true guys okay this particular statement return so because it's matching whatever the title that uh, this particular get title is retrieving is matching with this one or not we are verifying like this in real time guys we should not be writing this kind of way but uh, what we generally do is like we put this in inside the assert kind of i mean uh, test ng assertions kind of stuff okay here i'm just explaining how to use this for verification that's it so let's run this should get the output as true guys okay the output should come as true is it true fine next one next one is get current url similar way guys it will retrieve the current uh, page url okay i don't have to demonstrate each and every one right this particular url url will be retrieved and you can compare that also if you want similar way okay and the next last one is get page source it will retrieve all the html code of this page okay of this login page and uh, you can check whatever you want in that page okay dot contains uh, some text or something you can do okay so i don't want to explain each and every command here but uh, these things can be used for verifying okay these commands in selenium web driver can be used for verification purpose so when you get this kind of command uh, when you get this kind of question in interview then you need to answer like this guys hope guys you got the answer for this question thank you bye